Hello. In this video, I'm going over the course syllabus. So I'm going to share the screen. And uh, the information about the course is going to be on Canvas. So I haven't, at the moment I'm recording this video, I haven't published the course in Canvas. But if you go to Canvas, you are going to see the course. Once I publish it, and you, you'll see all, all the contents, the requirements checklist, uh, the <clears throat> instructions to register to my MATLAB, which will be emailed to you, uh, study guides, lecture recordings. So all that information is going to be on Canvas. Um, but I'm going over the policies and syllabus. That's what I'm doing in this video. And I'm opening this as a separate file. OK, so first off, my name is uh, Diego Ramirez. Here's my contact information. My preferred method of communication is email. This is an online course, so I will not be, uh, well, this is an online course, so chances are that you will not be able to meet me in my office for office hours, but you can set up an appointment on Zoom. If you need to meet me during these hours, um, you can set up an appointment and I can meet you on Zoom. Or um, if, you, if you want to meet at a different time and I'm, and I'm available, just let me know ahead of time. So on the syllabus, you're you're going to see the information about the <clears throat> about the book. The physical textbook is optional, so all you need is to register to my MATLAB, and I'm going to talk about that. Uh, you need to register to my MATLAB because it comes with the online version of the book. So you're going to receive the instructions to register to my MATLAB. And uh, let me share this. Um, so I need to go to the to the course homepage. So this is our course. And on eText contents, you're going to find the online version of the book. Like for example, chapter one, that's going to be our first chapter, section one one. Click on eText. So I'm waiting for this to open. And there it is. So my MATLAB comes with the online version of the book. So let's continue. Um, <clears throat> well, the, the calculator that I recommend you to use um, is the TI-32 uh, access calculator, a text instrument. And uh, here's a list of some supplementary materials. So other links that that may be uh, that may be helpful. So the important course dates: uh, the first day of class, the first day of the semester is January eight. The deadline to drop without a penalty, that is, uh, without ha having to pay for the course, is on Friday, January twelfth. The deadline to withdraw with a penalty that is with a grade of W and you cannot get reimbursed for the course is March 6th. And the last day of class is going to be on the 19th. Uh, the final exam, I'm going to talk about that, but the final exam, you're going to take it on ProctorU. That's going to be your only proctored assignment. So the final exam, I will, uh, as the day approaches, maybe uh, a month before uh, finals week, I will send you an email with instructions about how you're going to take the final. <clears throat> so here's a list of uh, learning outcomes and assessment. Well, this is um, this is an online course, so I will not be taking, well, this is an asynchronous online course, so I will not be taking regular attendance. Um, attendance is going, to be, is going to be based on your uh, participation on my MATLAB. So I will be posting lectures. So if we go back to uh, to Canvas, you will see uh, the recordings, a recording for every section. So those are already posted. So to buy the um, to buy the uh, the textbook or to buy the access to my MATLAB, you have two options. You can do it through the bookstore, or uh, you can do it directly from the uh, from the Pearson website. So if you are not physically on campus, 
that is chance are that you're not participating in the book bundle rental program. So I recommend you to uh, to buy the book from the Pearson website. And those are the only two, re two reliable sources. So be careful when, uh, if you see this amazing deal on Amazon or another website, uh, be careful with those because they may not give you the correct code unless it comes from the Pearson website or um, <clears throat> or from the bookstore, I cannot guarantee you that you're going to get the correct code. So the information is going to be on Canvas. Uh, this are uh, this are uh, fully online course. Um, so it's going to be uh, the course requirements checklist. Uh, try to complete as soon as possible. It's only three questions. That's going to be due on um, on January seventeen. You are going to see the information about the about the syllabus. You are going to find study guides. Um, what well, as I mentioned, a study guide for tests. I also mentioned uh, lecture recordings for every section. So that information is going to be on Canvas. The thing that can that Canvas is not going to show is grades. Your grades are going to be on my MATLAB. So on my MATLAB, you are going to see this menu on the right. Um, okay, it's going to be you're going to click on student gradebook, and you can see the most current grade on the class. So I haven't well that that's supposed to be me if I was a student. Of course, I haven't attempted any assignments. So I don't I don't have a grade, but that's that's where you're going to find your most current grade on my MATLAB. So if you have any problems with Canvas, you can contact Help Desk. That's another way to uh, to uh, to contact me uh, through Canvas. You can send me a message through Canvas, and that's going to come directly through my email. So I will uh, <clears throat> you will receive. Or by now, by, uh, by the moment you're watching this video, you may have received the instructions to register to my MATLAB. That's going to contain uh, all homework assignments, quizzes, and tests. So every homework, every quiz, uh, every test is going to be on my MATLAB. And it's going to have an electronic copy of the textbook. So the expectations, I'm not taking regular attendance, but I, I expect you to be fully engaged. Um, that is uh, doing your homework regularly, uh, doing your quizzes. Uh, there is going to be a quiz per chapter and there's going to be a test every three chapters. And when you're working on my MATLAB, let's go, for example, let's go to one of the problems. Um, so this, uh, so I'm clicking on preview. So you're going to see something like this. So that's going to be your homework and you have several options. Um, in some problems, you have the option of help me solve this and they can go step by step. Or you can be a, an example with different numbers or uh, you can uh, click on ask my instructor. I'm in preview, but you can click on ask my instructor and I'm going to receive uh, your question by email. If you don't understand how to do this, you can use this option. So let's go back. So the evaluation instruments are going to be a homework. There's going, there's going to be a homework assign, assignment per section. It's going to be worth 25%. Uh, we cover uh, nine chapters. So I'm going to, um, well, you, you, will, uh, you will complete a quiz per uh, per chapter. So that's going to be a total of nine quizzes. Every three chapters you have a test. So so every uh, so you're going to have a total of three tests. Each one is going to be worth 10% for a total of 30%. And the final exam is going to be worth 20%. <clears throat> okay, so an important, this paragraph is important. Calculation of your homework, quiz and test grades is done automatically by my MATLAB. So the grade doesn't show any unattended assignments, but at the end, uh, for uh, for every uh, for every assignment you, that you, every assignment that you have not attempted will become a zero, and I can suddenly bring down your score. So try to um, uh, <clears throat> try to keep on track. 
try, try to stay on track with all the assignments. Yeah, you can use the Ask My Instructor option uh, on my MATLAB. So the, the three tests in the final exam must be completed by the due dates, at least in my MATLAB, and will not be accepted late unless there's a university verifiable, verifiable extenuated circumstance that prevents you from submitting the assessment on time. Other than that, the quizzes and uh, the quizzes and the homework, uh, you can uh, you can try those at any time until the last day of class. And about the quizzes, well, you can uh, you have unlimited attempts for homework. For quizzes, you have five attempts. And notice something. It's not there. Um, so quizzes, you must have at least fifty percent. There it is. In order to attempt a quiz, you must have at least fifty percent on every uh, section homework before attempting the quiz on that chapter. That for example, there's a prerequisite warning, um, like chapter one, and it's not it's not letting me see it, or chapter eight. Oh, there it is. Yeah, before you can work on any remaining attempts on a quiz, you must receive at least 50% on every uh, section homework. So that's the requirement to start a quiz. <clears throat> so everything is going to be on my MATLAB, homework, quizzes, regular exams, and uh, the final exam. The final exam is going to be on my MATLAB, but since this is going to be the only proctored assignment, you are going to take it on a proctor U. So when the date approaches about, uh, about a month before the semester ends, you're, uh, I'm going to send you an email with instructions of uh, how to register to proctor you. And I'm telling you from now, uh, you don't have to pay for this. It's already included in your registration, but you only have one attempt for the final exam. Somebody is going to be observing you. So in order to uh, to take the final exam on Proctor U, you need uh, you need a camera. Um, <clears throat> uh, I mean, uh, you need a camera, and you need uh, you need a camera, and you need a speaker. So we can see it here. Uh, Proctor U requires a desktop or lap laptop computer. It will not work on an iPad, Kindle, phone, etc. So if you're using a desktop computer that doesn't have a camera and speaker, you can purchase webcams and built-in microphones at a reasonable prices, that is about 20%, which will plug into your computer. But be prepared. For the final exam, be prepared to have a camera and a microphone. Otherwise, you will not be able to take the final. <clears throat> Academic honesty, in other words, cheating, is not going to be tolerated. So the purpose of the assignments in exams in this class is that you is uh is so that you learn, and so that you and I can both see what you have learned, and what you may need more help with. So collaborating among students is uh is fine and is even encouraged, but sharing course material outside your section of the class, and that includes uh uploading materials on the internet like uh. Forgot the websites, um, but yeah, <clears throat> a lot of materials uh, on the internet is not going to be permitted, and that's considered cheating. Cheating. So I'm not going. To, well, uh, you have the Brenau or code. Um, so Brenau takes cheating very seriously. This uh, turn it in same check. Uh, that doesn't apply to our class. It's a math class. That's more for uh, writing papers. But academic honesty, um, cheating is not going to be tolerated. If you are caught cheating once, you are going to receive zero on that particular assignment. If you are caught cheating twice, you are going to receive a failing grade in the course. And if you are caught cheating three times, uh, you will be expelled from the university. So here's a list of resources. Uh, we're going to be, I will be using Canvas to uh, post course information. Canvas and my MATLAB are the most important uh, 
the most important uh, tools for this course, but you have other resources like, uh, like the library, the writing center, the center for academic success for tutoring, student services, and BrainFuse, which is another option for, uh, for tutoring. If anybody needs special accommodations, like uh, like uh, like more time, like <clears throat> like extended time, uh, make sure you contact the Office of Accessibility Services. Okay, so this is it. At the end of the syllabus, you have the class content. Uh, that is all the sections that will be covered in this course. Um, so thank you for listening and uh, I'll be in contact with you.